Hey, Simone here, as always, with some ideas for what you can do so that you can scale your business fast without a hitch. I just spoke to one of our rockstar clients who has doubled her business in a few months with the right, with now the right systems and processes in place, and the sky is really the limit for her. There's just this one little thing that we discovered that's really her crux right now, which is firing and hiring her number two. Let's start with she already has a really good number two. Her intention is in the right place. She's, she's been growing by leaps and bounds. She's smart, she's loyal, and she's all, also the current root bottleneck in the company. This might kind of sound confusing, but give me a chance here, because this should be confusing, and it's also one of the most common and the least noticed pitfalls that causes many CEOs and business owners to throttle their, the growth of their business subconsciously. Because here's the thing, let's call the CEO Mary and the number two Sharon. Mary is a true visionary and working with us, she's taken care of all the foundational things that will enable her to keep scaling. Like I said, the sky is pretty much the limit for her. Her only stumbling block right now is her concern for the well-being of her people. She wants everybody to enjoy the work and grow with her while they deliver outstanding service to their clients. She is really a great leader. She can have the tough conversations, but she's also kind and fair, and she loves what she does, and she inspires others to feel the same. She is really good at getting others to do willingly, which they ordinarily would not, which is how Norman Schwarzkopf puts this. This is really the true definition of leadership, which is also the reason that she currently has a waiting list for talent to join her team, meaning she has a well-filled pipeline of the right people who she can choose from when the time is right, which is any business owner's dream and especially right now and because she cares so much about her team her weak spot is that she thinks about them before she expands her vision and their limitations are now becoming hers and that's the ugly truth and that's kind of hard to stomach around caring it's not just caring here it's also knowing what her team can or can't or won't be able to handle and I bring this up because I've seen this to be the limiter that once removed causes exponential growth. So for Mary, Sharon, who has been her loyal, dependable, and in many ways, really kick-ass right hand for a while, this has, and she has been instrumental in helping her achieve what she has. And now the sad thing is she's also helping her achieve not thinking big enough and not growing fast enough because Sharon is afraid of the growth and what it would really mean for her. So she's not nearly as bought in as she needs to be for that business to reach the next level with her in place. So as hard as this is to talk about and articulate, but this business has outgrown Sharon. What Mary really needs at this point is a true executive who comes in ready to jump in, aligned with Mary's vision and with a new strategy for how to get there. Mary knows exactly where she wants to go and, and what's possible here. And she really needs that true number two who can light a fire under her butt, present her with new perspectives, methods and ideas, and also manage up and manage down allowing Mary in this point, at this point, to focus 100% on growth. So the question is, does Mary have to fire Sharon here to make room for this new A plus player? Well, here's the thing, if, Ma if Sharon is the right person, no. Because if Sharon is the right person, there is so much opportunity in this move. We'd move Sharon in her seat and hire that new number two, above her who would actually solve as her mentor helping Sharon to grow in her role and of course in her value as well. So Sharon would be able to keep shining right where she is right now without the added stress of knowing subconsciously that she's holding 
Mary back with her limited perspective because you know people know it's not like this is total news to her so in in the in this case the new number two would serve now as a buffer also between Mary and Sharon and their dynamic of business as it used to be and it this would help both of them open up their bandwidth and their ability to expand it really is an all around beautiful solution if Sharon welcomes this move and doesn't get stuck in her ego. And to be fair, that's not easy, but if she's the right person, she can see that this is for the good of the business, for the, the business as the whole, that this needs to happen. And as long as she is able to make that move, she can still grow with the business and this is still a really excellent choice for her. Of course, this also means a complete <laughs> restructure of the organization all around. And of course, a refocus of roles for the entire leadership, for all the leadership positions, which exactly is what needs to happen to support for this new expansion to go off swimmingly without a hitch. Mary is really excited because now she can see the next level of business with Sharon still on the bus. So this is placating her sense of being a good leader and being loyal to the people who've helped her get where she has gotten. And it also challenges and supports her team in the way that it should be. And now it enables her to create this whole new level of impact for her business. Creating solutions like this makes me really, really happy because it really is a win-win involved for everybody involved who are involved for the right reasons. Now, this is simple, but it's not necessarily easy. So if this is something that you are struggling with and you need just a little bit of help so you can get going in the right direction, we have a brand new training out there that addresses all this in detail. So I'd advise grab a beverage and some popcorn and head over to bulletproof start, bulletproofstartups.com and prepare for some exponential growth. Enjoy and I will see you next time.